So the first step is to start up the Max application. You also want the DSLR Remote Pro application open. We first start by making a new project, um, demo project. Then we go and we set what camera we are using, and we set the type of lens that we're currently using. In this case, I'm using the preset for the T Canon T5i and the Canon MPE 1X. It automatically fills in your width and height and depth of field setting. From there, we need to tell it what the left, right, top, and bottom of the subject are, and also what the high and low focus are. So we'll start by turning our live view on so that we can see what we're looking at through the camera itself. I'll first start by moving the camera to the far left side of the image. And then I'll say set boundary. I'll then move it to the far right side of the subject. And I'll say set right side. Then I'll move it up to the top. And then I'll go down and move it to the bottom. Then the next step is a little bit more tricky. We have to find what is the highest and lowest point of the subject. So in this case, I'm going to go up to the highest point, which is the top of these pins right here. So I'll set my high focus to be there. And then I'll move down to where I think the lowest point that needs to be in focus is. And that's probably about right there. Now I might scan around to see if, I, if there is a lower point that I want to capture. Then I set my low focus. At this point, it, cap it calculates how many images are needed. In this case, it says 924 images are needed. There will be 22 stacks, 7 columns, and 6 rows. If that sounds acceptable to you, then we're going to add the project or update the project in the queue. We can then take a test exposure to adjust our camera settings and lighting. If the camera settings and lighting need to be changed, you can either change your settings for your final exposure or you can adjust the lighting. From here, we can determine how much overlap we want to use. In this case, I'm going to use 35% overlap. And then we can go straight to updating the project in the queue. It's added a few more photos when I do that, but I know that I want to have a little bit more overlap in this particular case. Then I'll select the project and then I will hit go and it will start automatically taking those images. If I want to preview what's going to happen on the system. I can also turn Live View on. I'm going to reselect my project. I'm going to hit Camera Bypass. And then what it's going to do is it's going to step through all the different images that it's going to take, but without actually taking the photos. And so in the Live View, if I make this a larger image here, you can see it's stepping through all of those positions. I'm going to move that back down. You can also move to display your capture grid and select and move throughout the sequence wherever you want to go to test that. And then you can hit go again and it'll move to that area of your subject. 
and start from there. And assuming everything is correct, I can turn off camera bypass and start the project.